The Central Library Fire is a part of your LAFD history. On April 29th, uh, 1986, um, I was an engineer at uh, Fire Station 44, and it's a station in the Mount Washington District. And it was pretty much a typical day uh, for us firefighters when the library fire incident happened. This typical day became a day to never forget when Engine 44 was dispatched to 5th and Flower. While en route, the crew listened to radio traffic so they could size up the situation, but nothing quite prepared them for what they saw when they reached the incident. Arriving on scene uh, was uh, spectacular. We had to park literally about three blocks away because there was already quite a bit of resources on scene. The engineer normally stays at the rig and runs the controls that bring the water to the fire. But today, Engineer Gomez got to join his crew inside for the fight. When we were going in as a company, uh, there was four of us, myself, the two firefighters and the captain. And then there was another company behind us assisting us with this two and a half. Literally, it felt like we were going into a tunnel. And, and, and the deeper we got into the building, the hotter it was. It was just extremely hot. The Central Library is a Type 1 building, concrete and steel. While this type of construction is considered fire resistive, it also retains all the heat, smoke, and gases created by the fire. It's like a brick oven and causes conditions hard to describe. There's no words that I can describe it. I mean, it was just a painful, painful wall that you run into uh, uh, when you experience that kind of a heat and there was no relief. Unrelenting heat is only one challenge faced when inside the belly of a massive structure fire. All we could see was each other at our arm's length. The smoke was, would clear in certain areas. In other areas, it was just thick, black, uh, sooty smoke. You can hear the noise. Yeah, again, I don't have enough words to describe the noise that you would hear in there. You can hear the roar of the fire and not just in, uh, in front of us, but in different parts of the building, and it seemed like it echoed everywhere. And then you can hear um, the bookshelves. And I'm not talking about a four or five foot bookshelf, I'm talking about a bookshelf that looked, it, it was probably only eight to 10 feet tall, but for us they were like 20 feet tall, and some of them collapsing uh, under the, uh, the destruction of the fire. So you can hear the crash and, and, and tumble of, of uh, wooden furniture. And then of course the books coming down. You can hear the shouts of the other firefighters in other parts of the building, uh, calling for help uh, with the hose line, uh, calling for more hose lines in certain areas, uh, providing instruction. The captains are, are, are shouting to be heard at, the, at their crews. So you can hear all that. Over 350 firefighters spent the next seven hours in those chaotic conditions, never relinquishing the battle. It took determination, leadership, and most of all, courage. And again, I think what, what collectively, uh, the courage that we uh, mustered was from each other because we were not going to leave uh, our fellow firefighter uh, by themselves. That dedication is what saved the Los Angeles Central Library. What could have been a $160 million loss was limited to just $22 million, and the library survived. The public support drove a rebuild, and the library stands today as an icon of the city. After a 40-year career, Chief Gomez is about to retire, but one day he'll never forget is April 29, 1986. It was an incredible challenge. It's one of those incidents for me that I'll never forget. It was one of my uh, few incidents that I thought, I'm not going to live through this one, I, and it, we don't, you know, we don't say that lightly. Uh, there's been a lot of close calls in my career, but I look at that one as I was very, very fortunate. And I think I'm here to tell the story because of my fellow firefighters, because they were doing the same thing. They were giving 100% uh, um, for the person next to them. I am Battalion Chief Ray Gomez. I am part of your LAFD history.